The following program is a public access production. Comcast is required to provide time on this channel and make it available pursuant to franchise agreements with the communities we serve. Comcast is not affiliated with the following program or the producers of public access programming and is not responsible for the content. The following program does not reflect the opinions of Comcast or its affiliates. Hi, I'm Jeff Cohn of Suburban Issues, and thank you very much for being with us today. I am delighted to continue the discussion that we started uh, for the fourth quarter around the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning's Go to 2040 plan. And today I'm delighted to have one of my friends and one of the premier leaders of the South Suburbs, uh, Rick Reinbold, with me, who is a village president of, of the village of Richton Park. Thank you very much for being with us Thanks today, for Rick. Me, Jeff. Uh, Rick, um, I have interviewed Rick on several occasions, and now we have something that we're going to be talking about a little bit different outside of the, of mm -hmm. the village of uh, Richland Park and really focusing this conversation and what role will the village play in the Go to 2040 plan. Yes. And so uh, Rick also happens to be on the board yes. uh, for the uh, what is better known as CMAP. And so how long have you been on the board? I was uh, appointed to the board in uh, July of 2009. Okay. And how many uh, members are there on the board with that, that share um, your governance uh, seats with you? There are uh, 15 voting members and two non-voting okay. members of the board. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I had uh, Tom Garitano, who is the director of communications. I've mm -hmm. talked to him, and I've also talked to your uh, chairman, uh, Gerald Bennett, as well, who's the mayor of uh, Palos Hills. Um, who's gave uh, our viewing audience some perspective on the strategic role of, um, of, of CMAP. And, and what I'm curious to find out from you, though, is, you know, how will you guide your village in participating in the Go to 20 plan over the next few years? You know, wh wh what will you do? Well, it's the Go to 2040 plan is a, um, uh, it's, it's a roadmap. It's, it's on, uh, it deals with, uh, a, a variety of, of topics in terms of planning. Uh, for, for local mayors, I think it's important that we make sure that our staff and our, and our village board and our planning commissions uh, are aware of the types of things that uh, we should be thinking about uh, at a local level and how that intertwines with, with the regional assessment uh, of that's, that's referenced very frequently in the Go to 2040 plan. Okay. And, and so as you are directing the, you, the staff within your villages to, to sort of start um, laying the groundwork for participating in this, um, what, what, do, what do mayors need to be, mayors, village presidents need to be thinking about as they prepare their uh, leadership environments, um, as they prepare them going forward towards this, what do mayors really need to be thinking about in terms of making sure that their villages understand and are prepared to participate in this in an equitable fashion? Uh, well, equity is one of the keys to, to the program. We, we have to ensure that there's a fair and equitable distribution of resources in terms of dollars for funding various projects. Okay. Uh, we, we need to understand as a region and as mayors, none of us when it comes to regional planning are an island unto ourself. Uh, we, we, we have to uh, be involved in a regional plan because it affects all of us. Uh, we, we have to ensure regionally that uh, the dollars that are coming into our region mm -hmm. uh, f for long-term planning and to do the investment in infrastructure, uh, whether those dollars are coming from the, uh, the government or the private sector, okay. uh, we have to have a, a, a reasonable plan in place uh, that will help facilitate uh, the decisions that are made as far as uh, locating in an, in an area. Mm -hmm. if, if we expand um, to the, to the broader, to the national level, as a region, we're kind of the, we, well, we are the center of the country when it comes to rail transportation, air transportation, okay. and vehicular traffic. Uh, so we need to make sure that the infrastructure is in place uh, to, to accommodate that. Sure. Uh, so, so, I mean, particularly with Richardson Park, you guys are very strategically, pl pl I mean, placed in terms yes. of, um, by, you know, uh, two highways and yes. railway. 
um, and potentially maybe a, another airport that may mm -hmm. come to the region. Um, how do you get other mayors, though, to, to sort of gravitate around this concept, though? Okay. Because one of the things that, that I imagine, I know that they are saying that um, uh, autonomy with uh, balancing that with uh, regional cooperation and collaboration, how, how do you, what role will you play to ensure that other village mayors and, and, and presidents actually understand that this is a, a uh, team effort mm -hmm. to make it better for us, for the whole, which is the region, yes. and not take a very uh, selfish approach? Jeff, I think the key is, is education. Uh, um, we, we are uh, currently in an effort to, to get the word out on the Go2040 plan and, and why it's important uh, not only to the region but to local municipalities. Mm -hmm. One of the uh, conduits uh, that we're using are the local COGS, councils okay. of government. All right. uh, for us it's the South Suburban uh, mayors right. and managers. Right. Uh, we're, we're using that as a vehicle to get the word out, to talk to mayors, to, to uh, bring it to the forefront. Uh, and, and we're using media yourself. This program is an opportunity for mm -hmm. us to, to make sure that we get the word out. Uh, and, and primarily help mayors, village boards, communities understand uh, that, that this is a very important component of our future success. Mm -hmm. uh, at, the, uh, when, at the end of 2040, when we uh, achieve 2040, we uh, know that our population is gonna grow significantly, grow by 2.8 million people. Yes. Uh, we're gonna, it, that will create another 1.8 million jobs. Okay. So, so we, we need to be uh, aware of that fact and how it's going to affect our region and, and strategically position our municipalities and communities so that we're able to participate uh, in that on an equitable basis. Sure. So in terms of uh, getting them to, to understand that, um, how have mayors been so far, the ones that you've talked to uh, in terms of their receptiveness? Uh, have they been receptive or cautious, um, you know, towards the, the plan mm -hmm. so far? What, Today it's been very positive. Um, at, at the level of leadership where mayors or village presidents and village boards are, uh, they, they understand the need for planning. Uh, you, you, you have to have a plan. Uh, many, many years ago, municipalities and communities and regions were de uh, developed on a reactionary basis. Sure. It was a reaction to an individual that wanted to open a store or something like that. Okay. Uh, I think we realize now the need for planning, for long-term planning, to have a comprehensive plan in place. Uh, and that's where we look to the leadership in the community. What is, what is the board's vision mm -hmm. for their community in five years, 10 years? Uh, this goes out a little farther than that, but it's the kind of thing I think that we need to be aware of. So it, to date, it has been very well received uh, because this plan is a tremendous resource. CMAP is a tremendous resource when it comes to planning. Okay. Uh, if municipalities need assistance in planning or implementation, uh, as, as, as the, the board CMAP stands ready to help facilitate yeah. that. And one of the key aspects of the Go to 20 plan is the, um, the efficiency or effectiveness of, of, of governance mm -hmm. um, and also transparency. Yes. Um, and what are some of the things that, that you're doing to accomplish that particular pillar of the plan mm -hmm. within uh, Richland Park? Well, the, uh, one vital component of, of in getting to the, the, the final plan was transparency. It was, it was involving uh, municipalities, it was outreach. Um, the, the, the book that just contains the comments that were received is, is genuinely a book. It's a, okay. a, a, a very large piece. So on the transparency issue, we've, we've just uh, made our best effort as, as making, making sure that the process was transparent. Um, uh, it, it has been a work in progress. Uh, it's been going on for about four years. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was a very, very detailed uh, process that, that the um, uh, organization went through to get to, to the final document. Okay. Um, so one of the, the key um, themes is the Go to 20 is it's about sustainable prosperity. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we've been struggling uh, with in the South Suburbs is actually is that very point, sustaining prosperity. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering what needs to be done differently as we consider being an equitable partner at the table with the region, what does the South Suburb need to do um, collectively through your COC um, to ensure that uh, the South Suburb gets to prosperity and mm -hmm. gets to sustaining prosperity? There's a, a, 
an opportunity that I, I believe we have in, in the Southland. And, and even though right now the economy is, is, is still struggling, there's no question we've seen uh, commercial and retail development come to a, a screeching halt. Okay. Uh, I believe there is light at the end of the tunnel, but one of the advantages uh, that we have in this downturned economy is the opportunity to do uh, some very effective and well thought out planning. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an opportunity in the Southland to uh, do that planning now. Okay. Uh, uh, it's not a question of if the economy will turn around, it's a question of when. Uh, we don't know when that is, but if we can uh, position ourselves as a region and as municipalities to be ready for that so that we can have s what I call site-ready projects that are available in municipalities and in the region, we will, uh, we, will, we will draw development at that point in time because when things turn around, developers are going to be looking for uh, what is the quickest way to re-enter the market. Mm -hmm. and, and if you've done the planning, if you've done uh, things, uh, architectural guidelines for a downtown redevelopment. If those things are in place, you don't have to walk through it at the time when someone's knocking on your door wanting to, to do a development. So it, it, there is definitely an opportunity from the planning perspective. That's okay. why I think the timing of the GOTO 2040 uh, is, is very important to, to have that out now to get mayors, municipalities, townships thinking about mm -hmm. planning. So it is, I mean, we are in a trough right now economically yes. throughout the country, obviously, and, and the state is even in, in, in even worse shape, mm -hmm. comparatively speaking, than many other states uh, across the country. Do you think that, the, that the, the, the point of making this region more competitive in mm -hmm. the future is resonating with people now, though? when people are you know, thinking about survival, survivability, really, which is top of mind for many people, mm -hmm. how are we going to penetrate the day-to-day -day concerns that people have to make the Go220 plan something that, that resonates with them right now so that we can start getting people to take action towards moving towards 20, going to 2040? Yeah, I, I think in order to get the buy-in, uh, it's an education process. Okay. Um, uh, people need to understand the the core mission or goal and objective of the go to 2040 uh, that it is in fact it is a long-term plan um, it, it 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 gives uh, guidance and tools for getting us to where we want to be in, in in the Southland we we have uh, and, and for me it, the go to 2040 highlights a lot of the opportunities that we have uh, in our region to, to to set in motion the type of planning uh, initiatives that are going to be necessary. Uh, but to answer your question, I think it, it's education. It's, mm -hmm. it's uh, that education, I think if we adequately, and when we adequately educate our, our residents and our regional leaders, uh, the, the, the buy-in comes natural uh, with that. It's, okay. it's part of the process. Okay. So, I mean, so we have to, we all have to do a good part in making sure that the, the people are aware of the plan by yes. talking about it. Because, I mean, we really think about this, um, our region being the sixth largest economic center in the world. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's really something that should give people a moment of pause. Oh, absolutely. And, um, you know, if we come together as a, as a force, we mm -hmm. can be in a better position. Absolutely. Um, if we work together, though. And I think that that's the thing that this plan really talks about. And if we establish those global connections that the plan talks about, um, I, I really think that we can improve our position here. There, there's no question, we touched on that a little bit earlier, but uh, strategically we're, we couldn't be better located mm -hmm. when we look at the national transportation issues. Uh, so, so there is tremendous opportunity um, for the Southland. We, we have a lot of the infrastructure in place okay. to support uh, different types of development. Uh, we have opportunity uh, to maintain green space because we still have green space. Mm -hmm. uh, some regions don't have that option. Um, when we talk about education and governance, uh, the GO2 2040 plan uh, even touches on cultural issues uh, and how to, how to uh, make the arts available to mm -hmm. communities. So it, it touches on uh, many of the things that are important and it, and it just helps us to focus on some of those things. It's, um, it is a plan. Um, it's not a mandate. Right. Uh, it's